What's up guys, back again with another video, man. Today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my dividend payments for the month of October. This was a request I got on Instagram and I said, all right, cool, I'ma do the video. So get ready for some free game. We're about to get it. All right, so we're inside my Robinhood account right now. We're on the history tab and we're looking at the um, the dividends. So pretty much you can see here the, 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 the first dividend that's on the screen that was for um, September the 30th. So we're looking into the month of October. So we're just going to go ahead and, um, you know, add these up. We got the calculator here on the split screen. So the first dividend here comes from a company called GPC. And that was for... 76 cents i only have one share and it's called genuine parts company this is the um auto parts company that owns napa i only have one share so i got paid 76 cents so um let's go ahead and just throw that into the calculator here All right, so the next one we're gonna go back and we're gonna take a look at now is Coca-Cola. And that was also on October 1st. And that was for seven shares at 40 cents a piece. So we have $2.80. So let's go ahead and add that in. We go back out and we're gonna go down to QSR. Two shares, 42 cents each. And this was paid on October 3rd. So the total on this is 85 cents. So we're going to add that in as well. All right. The next one we have is STX, which was paid today. And that was for 13 shares of Seagate Technology. Seagate is a hardware not hardware, a hard drive company. So they make pretty much uh, storage products for laptops, computers. They also provide like enterprise solution, you know, like uh, cloud-based computing, that type of stuff. It's a storage device company. I have 13 shares at 63 cents per share, which gave me a payout of $8.19. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. All right, so the next one we're looking at now is I'm supposed to get this tomorrow. That's BBY, which is Best Buy. I have one share. I was actually watching this stock. Um, I actually like the performance so far. So it was one share at 50 cents. I think this is one of those stocks that I'm going to go ahead and scale up on because I think they're pretty much doing a good job of managing the online aspect of it, you know, so... I don't think they're going to be affected by Amazon anytime soon. You know, they've had competition from companies like, I would say, what, Office Depot is damn near out of business. And then you had Circuit City, which is no out of business. They're, they're no longer in existence. And the difference is with those two companies, I don't think they were putting too much focus on online sales, you know, and here comes Amazon wiping everybody up. These guys seem to have a good strategy for that Best Buy. So I'll definitely be purchasing more shares of this. All right, so let's go ahead and add this 50 cents on here. We're going to go back out. And the next one is Soho. I have two shares at 13 cents per share, which netted me 26 cents. And Soho is a real estate investment trust. They specialize in hotel property so uh, the next one I have is VTR which is also another real estate investment trust I had two shares of this I bought it before the um, the ex-dividend date and I sold it but I got paid a dollar and 59 cents for the time that I held my two shares so we're gonna go ahead and add that on And the next one is coming up. It's going to be from Philip Morris. I have 10 shares here, 
I believe I own a little more, but let me double check. No, I only own 10 shares. My bad. I only own 10 shares. They pay $1.17 per share for a total of $11.70. So let's add that in. Philip Morris, for you guys who don't know, it's a tobacco company. It's, you know, they make smoking products. Um, they're affiliated with or they're a spinoff of Altria which is going through all this turmoil now with the um the, the vaping issues with the jewel product and altria has a portion of that company jewel uh, these guys they were they were once together as a company and they split and they were considering merging again and then after the news broke with the vaping debts Philip Morris decided to, you know, stay clear. Um, these guys have been around forever. You know, they've always increased their dividends. Some people say this is a sin stock. I really don't give two shits about none of that, man. You can't, you know, people are going to do what they want to do. So you want to smoke, go ahead. Drink, smoke, do whatever. So 10 shares at $1.17 a share. I'm at $11.70 dividend payment coming in from Philip Morris. The next one is Reality Income. I had nine shares before the ex-dividend date. They paid 22 cents per share, so I got $2.04. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And if you go to view, You'll see that I actually own 19 shares of the stock, but the rest I bought after the ex-dividend date. So I only got paid this month for nine shares, and this company actually pays dividends every month. And they're continuously increasing the dividends too, so that's a good thing. All right, the next one I have coming up is WP Carry. I had one share of this stock, and I sold it. It was a dollar and four cents. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to. And this is also a real estate investment trust. Then we have Pebble Rock Hotel Trust. Pretty much, I think the same thing like Soho. Um, I have four shares at 38 cents. So I was paid a dollar, or I'm gonna be paid a dollar and 52 cents. And this is coming in on the 15th of October. Uh, next one I have coming in is going to be from Apple Hospitality REIT. I have 10 shares, 10 cents a share. I'm going to be paid a dollar on the 15th as well for this particular one. And this is also a real estate investment trust. Then I have um, Curing Dr. Pepper, which it's a beverage company pretty much. I have six shares, 15 cents a share. I am going to be paid a total of 90 cents on the 18th of this month. So we're going to go ahead and add that in here. Then we have Comcast is expected on October 23rd. I have six years of that at 21 cents a share. So on the 23rd, I should be paid a dollar and 26 cents from Comcast. Next one we're going to take a look at is GE. I only have two shares. It's a penny a share. So 0 0.02. And I have ORC, which is another real estate investment trust. I have 52 shares. They pay $0.08 cents a share for a total of $4.16. And that's expected on October 31st. And that's it. That's pretty much the dividends that I'm expecting for the month of October. And as you can see here, the whopping total is $38.59. Damn! I'm rich. I'm rich, 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 rich. <laughs> nah, I'm playing around. But um, it's good, man. It's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these stocks, the um, the actual stock price does increase and in addition to that you get paid some dividends so you know i'm not mad man i'm really not mad um but just to answer your question you wanted to know exactly 
what I'm looking at as far as dividend payments on a monthly basis. This is just an example of another month. You know, when we get to November, I'll do that as well. If you have any more questions or any more requests as far as videos, don't forget to ask, man. You know, I'll be more than happy to do the video and explain what's going on. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch my videos. If you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe, man. And you could do me a huge favor by, by smashing that like button. It really makes the video go a long way as far as getting it out there. And I really do appreciate that. All right. Thank you so much again, guys. You have a blessed day.